I won my seat in 2004 in a double shootout on Poker Stars, the last one actually. In fact, in 2004, there was only one person who won their seat after me. There was a multi-table tournament that had started before my double shootout and finished after. But the double shootout I entered was the last thing you could enter to win your seat into the main event. I went to grad school and law school at the University of Minnesota and I played blackjack. And I would go to the Indian casinos, count cards, and that was like my student job. Instead of waiting tables, I played blackjack and averaged about $7 an hour, which was not bad back then. It was a little better than you might make at most student jobs. And you could set your own hours. But then when I graduated from law school, my first job was at a big firm in Chicago, and there were no good blackjack games available. And when I was looking for a blackjack game, I found a poker game. And uh, so I thought, well, I'll play a little poker, because, you know, we always had fun doing that. You know, what I found was that it was fun, but now that I was playing with people who were slightly more serious, that I, you know, realized how much I didn't know about the game. So I found some poker books at a used bookstore. One of them, fortunately, was David Sklansky's The Theory of Poker, and I read those books and started applying them and kind of taught myself to become a better and better player and found the internet, uh, poker discussion groups, used that to improve my game and just kind of worked my way up from low limit to, to high stakes. I played tournaments pretty early in my career. I mean, I remember in Chicago at these charity poker games that I would go to, I actually almost won my seat into the main event way back then, which would have been like 1993. You know, I came a couple of spots away from winning a seat to the main event. Uh, they had had these tournaments come in first or second in the tournament five weeks in a row. Those 10 people came back. And the winner of that final table got a seat in the main event. And they had ended up with so much money in the prize pool that like second, third, and fourth got seats into preliminary events, and I finished fifth. So I didn't make an early premiere at the uh, World Series. I play on Poker Stars a lot of stud high low, Omaha high low. I don't play a lot of Hold'em on Poker Stars, but my start was really Hold'em and some Omaha high low. In 1998, I moved to Connecticut, had a job with Pfizer as an in-house patent attorney. They have a big research facility in southeastern Connecticut, and it's my house happened to be six miles from Foxwoods. And when I moved there in 98, the stud games were dominant in that room. But when you walked in the, into the poker room, 80% of the games were stud. So, you know, by force almost, I had to play some stud. And I also, by that point, I'd worked my bankroll up to the point where I was playing in some of the bigger games that Foxwoods had, which were usually mixed games. So we would play like 75-150, and we would have a mixture of Hold'em, Stud, Omaha High-Low, and Stud High-Low. I've pretty much been successful for the stakes I play at my whole career. I've been playing now for 15 years, and so far I've never had a losing year. And I've done well in tournaments and in cash games. So I knew even five or 10 years ago that I could have quit my job as an attorney, played poker full-time, and it was highly likely that I would be able to make a living and you know, not go broke doing it. But, you know, I had a wife and then later a, a child. And, uh, you know, even though I knew I could make money as a professional poker player, I probably wasn't going to make more money than I was getting at my job. You know, and I had, you know, health care and all the other benefits and the security that come with it. So it just wasn't a, a reasonable choice with my family to, uh, to quit that safety net and play poker full time. I make my living now as a professional poker player, but I'm not much of a gambler. If Poker Stars had not stepped up after I won and said, we want to kind of essentially offer you a job, we're going to pay you money to represent our site, to let us use your name in advertising and, and, and so forth. You know, they're paying me more than Pfizer used to pay me to be an attorney. So it was a real easy decision to quit my job and be a full-time poker pro. It's like, well, I already thought I could make money playing poker, and now I got a salary on top. So it, it takes, you know, that concern about losing the safety net away.